This is Jeremy Tesmer with SGTV. On Thursday, Sullivan Goss will open its first solo exhibition for Inga Gazita. It's been a long time coming. Nine years ago, gallery owner Nathan Vonk bought one of her pieces out of her first solo show in Santa Barbara. A few months later, I bought another piece out of her second exhibition. Susan Bush bought work thereafter. Since then, Inga's shown in Zurich, Vienna, New York, Brooklyn, LA, and San Francisco. Two years ago, we began to feature her work in the gallery more regularly. Every piece has sold. And now, as I sit here, Rebel Women is on the wall. Her first solo show at Sullivan Goss. A lot of mornings, Inga is in the woodshop that she and her husband share at 7 a.m., She begins by collecting all of the ground-up and highly personalized skate decks from her favorite local shops. She sorts them by color into stacks. She removes the grip tape on every board she intends to use with brute force, a chisel, and a heat gun. She goes to the design she's worked out for the new piece and begins by cutting out the shape she'll need using a bandsaw with the smallest blade I've ever seen. When she's cut out all the tiny pieces and all the right colors, she then has to sit and do the puzzle she's made for herself. These are then glued and nailed together. The whole thing is then finished with a clear coat to protect it, but first she has to mask out the grip tape, which involves masking tape and an X-Acto knife. Oh, but the finished work is so amazing. When I stand in the middle of the room of Inga's new exhibition, I hear my favorite fight song. I see these icons staring back at me and I know that I am in the presence of power. Chewed up skateboards are not traditional fine art materials, but historical portraiture does have a history. And it's one that includes artists like Sargent, Delacroix, Gainsborough, Rembrandt, Durer, Raphael, We make heroic images of people we admire and commend that admiration to others. And who are these people that Inga admires? They are people like Sonita Alizade, a girl whose parents wanted to sell her into a marriage while she was still a teenager. She wrote a rap song that got made into a viral video about forced marriage that inspired a documentary about her. She then became one of the leading advocates against forced marriage in the world. Josephine Kulia is involved in the same fight in Kenya, where she's also battling a tradition of female genital mutilation. Inga's Hall of Heroes also includes Marina Abramovich, Hurricane Bella Abzug, Lady Gaga, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the notorious RBG, Jermaine Greer, Frida Kahlo, Michelle Obama, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Nadia of the Russian group Pussy Riot, Amy Winehouse, and Malala Yousafzai. Inga is also included here, considering that she was born in communist Lithuania to a father who told her he wanted a boy. He's already pursued a rather heroic path. That her mother got her children out so that they could be raised in Germany suggests she comes from heroic stock. Inga Gazita, Rebel Women, will be on view through July 23rd. Come see it.